how did Ice Records come to be? Um, well, I, I wrote a song that I really loved that nobody loved. So I decided <laughs> to produce it myself. And um, in producing it myself, I went to every record label and every friend that I had in Los Angeles and in New York to put it out, and nobody thought it was a hit. And, um, and what was the name of it? Called Rock Me Gently. Right. And I remember getting in my car, and the last person to turn me down was the person I used to bring the, uh, the Archie records to the, uh, at RCA. And I really, I literally had tears in my eyes because I was either lost, because I really believed in this, or it was over. So either way, it was, I, I was in trouble. And, but by the time I got to my, my apartment, I, I remembered my lessons. Lieben Stoller had their own label. Jeff Barry had his own label. Phil Spector had his own label. Bob Crew had his own label. I'm going to start my own label. I'm going to put this out. But it was great. It really was. It, it, it afforded me um, uh, the opportunity to understand one thing, and that is that sometimes your prayers aren't answered on your time, but they're always on time. And uh, it was just incredible to think that I went from nobody wanting the song um, to the Billboard charts to, to number one in Billboard. In you Billboard. know, it, it was uh, it was incredible. And the biggest thing for me was that. I was the writer, I was the artist, I was, well, I was the writer, the publisher, the artist, the record company. And who gives me my gold record at Capitol? John Lennon. Really? John Lennon walks in with ripping, he, he wasn't there to give me the gold record. He was there to have a meeting with the <laughs> chairman of the board. But I happened to be with the chairman of the board waiting for the gold record to come in, and I guess he came in, he was promoting whatever gets you through the night with Elton John. Um, and he was on Capitol at the time. And uh, he walked in just tearing. He said, where's Andy Kim? Where's Andy Kim? And, you know, and I was, to tell you the truth, I mean, I was stunned. I was so emotionally drained when I got called that they told me that it hit number one that I literally just sat there and cried for a good hour. And I think it was all the the stuff, you know, going, being, being a kid, getting lost uh, emotionally, uh, being lonely at times, uh, being confused, not living in, living in a world that was bigger than me, not understanding at all, and finally getting to this moment, and especially with the, the battle for uh, Rock Me Gently. And so I started my own label. Hum. TV.